to another video. I'm here with the coolest white guy I know. My cool butt, Jerry. So today we're gonna be doing a little install, very simple, easy install. Um, so huge, huge shout out to Memphis Shades for providing these windshields for us. Uh, Memphis Shades was nice enough to send me a windshield for my Roll Glide, and they were even nicer enough to send one for Jerry Street Glide here. So we're gonna be nice demonstrating time. on how to install them on your bikes, which is pretty easy, and then how they look. We'll take a little trip real quick down the road, come back and give you guys a little review what we think so far and even of the wind and how it, it hits in their face and everything like that. Say thank you to Memphis Shades, Jerry. Thanks, Memphis Shades. I just said it when you were talking. <laughs> Let's get on with it. So this is your word, so you can open that up. He hasn't seen it yet. Um, I already opened them last night, so it's like I know Christmas. what it looks like. It's like. Yeah, it's like Christmas it's like in the Marvel Christmas. Kid Garage, yeah. man. Yeah, Christmas at the Marvel Kid Garage. Tell me what you think. So yours is the, what, 8.5? Yes. 8.5, 8.5, dark smoke. So got the nice little curve the curve there. forward, because the other one hits my bars. The clockworks, right? Clockworks hits my bars. Yeah. And then mine right here. This is mine. Uh, a little bit wider, obviously, because it's rogue life. And a bit shorter, because I'm the shorter guy. <laughs> we'll call it six. This is a six inch spoiler, because the number here is cut off in the front, so I can't really see. It should be the six inch, though. So pretty nice. Uh, real simple, all you're gonna need for the Rogue Glide is a uh, Phillips head screwdriver, and for yours, what's a Torx bit? It is a Torx um, T27. Awesome, what else? I, I think we got more goodies here. Oh, we got, we got! We got little uh, beer holders here. Okay. So when we have our little beer holders for our little videos, we don't have to uh, wet our hands anymore. Keep our, our beers cold, nice and cold. So you got oh, one and I'll you. get one. Thanks what else we shades. got? Then we got some stickers and some... Ooh. Oh, we got, we, got, uh, we, got, we got more stuff! It's literally like Christmas in here. Yeah. Uh, this will be a separate video, but we do have some hand guards that I'm going to be utilizing for the winter time. I'm not going to put them on yet because I, it's still I'm warm them. Yeah. Put all the dead bugs on. Yeah, I know. So once it gets colder, I'm definitely going to be throwing these up on the road glider as well. I got them for my uh, low rider S and I love those things. They work wonders in the winter time. So keep your hands nice and warm. Uh, put this back in the box. Got some stickers. Get, uh, get on with this little install. Get cracking. It's a little install right here. Alrighty. All right, Jerry, you're gonna be my special helper today because you're special. I'm put dirty fingerprints in there. <laughs> All right, guys, so real simple. Phillips head screwdriver. You're gonna be taking these off. It's four of them on top. Um, I'm just gonna loosen them up because I think it should be able to slide out. If anything, what do you think, Jerry? Or not? Pop it forward. Off. There's a ground. There's a brass ground. Oh, there is a ground right there. So, I'm about to take the whole thing off. Just watch the space, the uh, spacer. I like that. I like that. Ta-da! I love it. I'm gonna wipe it down. It looks, yeah, we're gonna wipe it down. But uh, I love the nice look, guys. It's nice. Very nice. Very nice. So this is how easy this thing is. Just literally screw on, screw off. We are using the same exact stock uh, screws that we took off as well. So nothing else is necessary. Nothing else is needed. Um, and you fix your issue now because oh, the yeah. windshield is, is, is it's like far forward. away, yeah, yeah. it won't bang it with, with your uh, it was banging against with the your corners. risers, which is one thing that he had an issue with with uh, his clockworks. Because, yeah, how tall are your risers on here? Your, your bars 14 inches, 14 inches, and uh, you know how tall that clockworks windshield was 10 and a half. It was a 10 and a half. So, was what, a, what uh, was happening is that the windshield was tapping with the uh, with the riser, so it was like. Constantly tapping, tapping, tapping. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so now we got some space here. So you don't have to worry about that. This thing looks slick, man. I like it.
So, now that we're on the bike, let's talk about the wind deflection that we're gonna be receiving from this windshield. Like I said, this is the six inch. I'm five seven, so I don't wanna have, you know, have anything too, too big to interfere with my uh, eyesight. But with that being said, I could have gone a bit higher for sure. We'll get this bike up to uh, some speed up ahead and then uh, we'll put my uh, visor up and see how that does. How's it doing? Yeah? You getting any wind in your face or what? Yeah, we, we, we can rip it up right here. Now that I have the visor up, you can see how much wind I'm going to be getting in my eyes. Honestly, this one is, since this one is so short, it's kind of like the stock windshield on the bike. It does look 10 times better though. <laughs> um, as far as my height, like I was saying, I could definitely go up uh, maybe another two inches or so and it still won't interfere with my eyesight. So I'm sure maybe like for the winter time, maybe getting like a clear one, way taller to definitely block anything for those really really cold days So at 60, I'm really not getting that much air in my face. My visor was up right now, hitting 60, which is like the normal what anybody's gonna be hitting 60, 70th. And that wind was not like battering my eyes, which is awesome. I like it. It serves a purpose, it looks good. It looks good, baby. It looks good. Serves a purpose and it looks good. You can't go wrong with that, man. Memphis Shades, guys. I, I, I've been rocking out with Memphis Shades for the past few years. They make great products. Made here in the US of A. I got the Memphis Shades Road Warrior on my Lowrider S. I got the Del Rey on my Lowrider S as well, which I always uh, switch in and out. I also had the Memphis Shades on my Dyna. And if you have a sporty, they also do have a nice little fairing called the gauntlet, um, which people also put on dinas and other stuff, which looks great. And a bunch of stuff like this for baggers and then windshields for dinas and everything else. Um, so great products, great stuff. Right it's going over your head? Nice. It looks good, man. Yeah, I think it's darker than the old one. It is darker, yeah. I like it. Well, Jerry's a fan. Jerry approves. <laughs> we're gonna head back to the garage right now. We're gonna finish it off with our final thoughts on what we think of the product, how they look and everything, and I'll take it from there. All right, so we're back from the ride. I'll go first. I don't know about your opinion yet. I haven't heard it yet. But I, like I said before, I really love the looks of the shield, the how it looks in the Rogue Glide. Um, shorter, it looks sporty, it looks it looks good. Like I said, I could go up another two inches and it still probably won't impair my vision. Um, it's like way down here right now. Um, so for the winter time, when it gets really cold, for sure, I'm probably gonna want something taller, but if you if you don't mind that, then you're fine. If you're around warm area, then you should be fine with this. Um, and you also wanna get your shields compared to your, you know, your height as well. Uh, the taller you are, the taller you wanna get. Um, but some guys actually do like shorter stuff like this just to make the bikes look a bit different. 
I'm super happy with mine. Uh, I wanted to get your opinion because obviously yours is really, really different from the one on my robot. So yeah. as far as compared to your Clockworks. Clockworks is two inches taller. It's a 10 and a half. This is an eight and a half. But my Clockworks was curved. It was like a recurve. So it went like this and it came back and was actually hitting my bars and I had to put like foam and then still when you would hit bumps it would rattle like like glass or whatever. And uh, the, you know, the windshield was working good as far as protection, but this thing here, it's two inches shorter, I have a better line of sight, and it seems like it's just going right over my helmet. Yeah. How do you, uh, what do you think about the looks though? You can be yeah. honest too, if you're not no, crazy like about it. it. It's, it's, it's darker, so I just gotta get used to it or whatever, but I like that I have like this much space now, where before the windshield was right on my bars, right on the top cool. part of my bars. I think it was real good. Yeah, it does look good. And yeah. it, it seems to be working great too, so we'll see. Yeah, I, I got a was, long uh, trip coming up next week, so I'll let you know a long time. How was the wind right now? Even like right now, Not bad. I, I was no. talking about going 60. I was wearing a half really helmet and I didn't feel nothing. Nothing in your eyes? Nope. That's what's important. It's like if, if, yeah. you, if you don't have the wind. I felt it like like if I put my hand here, it'd be like. Exactly. And what you, that's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to kick it up and over. Exactly. So mine was kind of like hitting like, you could say like the top of the helmet. Um, but I, I want to bring it up to really high speeds around 90, 100 to see if I get really bad buffeting or not. Yeah, I want to see. Um, but for now, like, I wasn't really getting any wind inside my eyes, which is awesome. So if you're wearing a half helmet, then, yeah. you know, you'll definitely be happy with that. Um, once again, thank you so much, Memphis Shades, yeah, for thanks, Memphis Shades. sponsoring today's video with this awesome product. Um, thank you, Memphis Shades. Thank you, Memphis Shades. Thank you. <laughs> Great products. I got the hand guards too. I love them. They're yeah. covered in bugs, but Ma yeah, yeah. Listen, made in the U.S. of A. You can't go wrong with that, baby. Yeah, um, guys, we got a few more. We got. I got. I got. A, I got so much stuff coming in for both my bikes. Um, well, well, two of the bikes that I got. Um, so we got some cool stuff coming in uh, straight from Harley for the road glide. We got some suspension coming in. We got some rotors coming in for the 20 Lowrider S. These things are gorgeous. So if you follow me on my Instagram, you saw me post them today. So if you're not following me on my Instagram, then follow me down below and then I'll link this guy's Instagram down below as well so you guys could give him a follow. He posts the same picture every morning of his bike wherever he goes. That's not true. I get it <laughs> one side, then the other side, then the light. Then I got the gauges. I mean, Cause I'm almost at a thousand miles now. I need a service. Uh, uh. I don't know what you're at, man. I think price. we're. Uh, I'm, I'm almost up there too. I'm nine hundred like seventy or. I think I'm at eight hundred something. Yeah, I'm like nine seventy. After this weekend, I'll, after I'll be tomorrow, over I'll be over a thousand. Yeah. Cool little video or two videos coming out for this weekend as well. So I'm doing this uh, camping trip cabin thing upstate New York. Um, so I'm gonna be up there for the whole weekend. We're gonna be riding with the guys and everything. It's just gonna be really cool. So tune in for that. A lot of mods and a lot of other cool stuff coming. Also, I'm planning the last. Group ride of the season. We're gonna be headed down to Atlantic City. So um, hit me up on my Instagram. That's the only way you're gonna find out where I'm gonna be linking these trips at. Um, so if you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. That's gonna notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And like always, you wanna let them know, like always, or what? You wanna close it out? Like always, ride safe and enjoy the ride. Peace. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride. I forgot the force be with you. <laughs> Peace. Peace. Ah, let the force be with let you, man. Let the force be with you. Let the force be with you.